This is the Geekum A6, a mini PC offering both performance and cost effectiveness. In this sponsor review, we'll be taking a close look at the Geekum A6, reviewing its specs and putting it to the test. So let's get started. Welcome back to Space Age Tech, where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. We'll first do a quick unboxing of our Geekom A6. Like other Geekom mini PCs, this one also comes in a stylish packaging, nicely presented and well protected. The unit itself measures 4.42 inches by 4.42 inches and it's only 1.46 inches thick making it super portable and taking up minimal space. We have just a few more items in our box, starting with a thank you card and user guide. We have our VESA mount screws, our HDMI cable for a monitor, our power adapter, and finally our VESA mount, which can be used to mount this mini PC on back of your monitor. Now that we're all unpacked, let's review the specs. The A6, features a AMD Ryzen 7 6800H processor, along with AMD Radeon graphics 680M. For memory, we have a dual-channel DDR5 4800 with up to 64 gigabytes, designed for higher performance, lower power consumption, and increased capacity compared to its predecessor. It also comes with an M.2 2280 PCIe up to 2 terabytes. And we have a very sleek design with a chassis made of high quality aluminum alloy. In the front of the unit we have two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A connectors, our headphone jack and our power button. This makes for a very simple and clean design on the front. The sides are also very clean, we just have our air vent and one SD card reader. In the back is where most of the fun is happening. So we have our DC jack, we have one USB 2.0 type A, our LAN port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A, a USB 4 Gen 3 type C, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C, and two HDMI ports. With this configuration, we're able to connect up to four monitors or up to 8K resolution, making this a super versatile mini PC. Aside from our ports, we have Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.0. To keep the system running at an optimum temperature, the A6 offers Ice Blast cooling technology, a proprietary cooling technology from Geekom. We have seen this system in other Geekom models as well. This is a relatively quiet system, even though we have a large fan running at the bottom of this unit helping to keep it cool. So let's see it in action. Here we're illustrating how the fresh air is taken through the sides of the A6 it gets circulated inside the unit and ultimately the heat generated by the A6 is displaced and expelled on the back end, actively achieving a stable temperature. In this next part, we'll start our performance test. We've already installed Windows 11 and we're up and running. Our first step will be to verify all the components and we can do this with the help of tools like HWinfo, CPU-Z and GPU-Z. We're doing this to verify that the components shown on the screen are the same as the ones we mentioned earlier, and in this case, we can see that they coincide. As we proceed with our testing, we're going to keep HW Monitor open on the right-hand side of our screen. This will allow us to monitor the temperature, usage, and clocks throughout our tests. For our first test, we'll use Crystal Disk Mark. This is a benchmarking tool that tests the performance of our SSD. In total, we have four tests. Two of them are going to be sequential 
and the other two are going to be random read and write speeds. Our second test should be closer to what we would experience in a real life scenario. Our third and fourth tests are more challenging because they're random performance in four kilobyte chunks. For our next test, we'll use Cinebench. This is a CPU-based rendering benchmark for optimizing 3D render times. It measures rendering performance by using all CPU threads. This test takes about 10 minutes to complete, after which we'll be able to see how it compares in performance to other similar systems. This test does take a few minutes to run, and that's because we're doing both single-core and multi-core testing. In the multi-core testing, we are going to assess the overall performance of the CPU when using multiple cores simultaneously, which is crucial for things like video editing, 3D rendering, and data analysis. The single core test focuses on how efficient a single CPU core can process instructions. This is important in tasks like gaming. On the lower left hand side of the Cinebench screen, we can see our results. Our CPU is highlighted in orange here and compared against other similar systems. For our next test, we'll be running Geekbench 6. This is a CPU and GPU benchmark test. It tries to mimic real-life workloads. This test takes a few minutes to run and at the end it will give you two scores, one for single core and one for multi-core. You can then dig into the details and it will actually let you know how it performed doing regular tasks like opening and reading a PDF. We're also running the Geekbench GPU benchmark test. You may remember that this unit has an integrated GPU, the Radeon 680M, and here we'll see how it performs against other similar systems. And if you're interested in comparing the A6's performance against other Geekcom mini PCs, you can check out our other reviews where we've run a lot of the same benchmark tests. Again, once the test has finished running, it will give us our overall score along with some details on how it performed on individual tasks. For our next test, we'll use Can You Run It? It tells you what games your system can meet the minimum required specifications to run. Although you can run quite a few games, others will require a GPU for best performance. Here we can see a really nice variety of games that we can run, including Fortnite, Minecraft, Sims, and others. So let's play! And although Can You Play It is a very nice resource, it might need updates from time to time. Here we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, which is a game that was not on the list. We're playing this averaging around 40 frames per second with medium settings and a resolution of 1920 by 1080. This is recorded on a 4K monitor, that's why we see the window is a little small. The thermals did pretty good and the A6 ran quietly. So what did you think? Let us know in the comments. Overall we thought the Geekom A6 has a lot to offer. The small but rugged design makes it easy to bring along with you anywhere. The connectivity options make it easy to connect any device at your convenience and the overall performance does not disappoint. If you're looking for a mini PC for your home or business, the Geekom A6 is a pretty good option at a very reasonable price tag. If you're ready to get yours, take a look at the links in the description. We'll be reviewing this and other amazing technology in our upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow.